Hey everybody, I'm back again. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my River Rossi Y6B North Florida Western Railroad. So before I get started with this review, give you a little history on what I have with this model and the real Y6Bs. So the real Y6Bs, correct me if I'm wrong, you probably won't be able to since the comments will be turned off because I don't know how to turn them on. Anyway, get back to the subject. So I'm messing with the crab irons. So the real Y6Bs were built for the North Florida Western Railroad to haul long coal trains through the Appalachian Mountains. They had a rail arrangement of 2882 type rail arrangement articulated steam locomotives. They have, I'm pretty sure that these were stronger than Union Pacific Big Boys. So, yeah. And of course, that's also coming off the internet. That's fine. Sorry for that, too. Anyway, now this model, you've probably heard me talk about before. If you're tired of hearing me say this, I'd never told you the whole story. At least I don't think I did. Anyway, you probably heard this in the video that you last saw this. Or me talking about this locomotive was the train show haul video. Now, that you may or may not have heard that story that I had to do this, but in case you didn't or in case you didn't watch that video here you go i'm telling you again so a couple years back i belong to a train club that i have been going to ever since i was like two and i'm 12 now so yeah and something else is that this locomotive means a good lot to me because i remember when i was like two three years old watching this very exact locomotive running around that layout. Now, a couple years ago, let's say, I think it's 2017, they closed the place and they're turning it into a restaurant. And, or the, when, the, yeah, the, our city is. And, well, our town, we don't live in the city, like, out in the city, because there's grass and stuff and whatnot out there, as you saw, and probably... The videos with the cars in it. We live near a town that is called the city. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the subject again. That, this exact locomotive was my favorite one at that train club. I, I remember running this one around that layout. And when we were at the train show, never ever would I imagine to see the same for sale. And for those of you that don't know, I do have an other Y6B that's built exactly the same, but it's not all that realistic due to none of the paint is right, and it's a Santa Fe, ATSF, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I get camera in the shot. Yes, I do have a Conrail diesel flying around in the background. Not really flying. Going slow. Back to the subject again. Anyway. So when I saw this thing for sales there, I I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it there. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to... I don't really matter how much. I'm just, if it's in my price range, I'll, I'll try. So I wanted $50 for it. I was like... Okay, let's not get too carried away here. So I brought it over to the little test track they had there, ran. I was like, yeah, it runs fine, just how I remember it, blah, blah, blah. I got him down to $40, and when he said he would do that, I handed him the money as quick as he handed me the train. So there we go, it's mine. Now, to show you that other Y6B that I have, we're going to go over here onto my bookshelf, or my bookshelf, sorry for that, bookshelf, can't speak English bookshelf of locomotives and go down here to the steam section Y6B right 
there. So there's my other one. As you can probably see, this one is nowhere near this good shape as the other one. But as a matter of fact, I don't have a tender at the moment. It's on my workbench. But as a matter of fact, this does run. That's about top speed. But it runs. It has a kick of, yeah, it has kicks of energy for some reason. It runs a lot better in reverse. But after a while, it'll start heating up and then it will do some weird things. Let's just leave this at. It's doing stuff that a train should not be doing. Like it has boosted energy like that. However, though, my other Y6B runs as smooth as can be. It's even. It does that every so often. So th there's a wire back here on the tender. That comes loose and you just, oh, you gotta just shove it back on the motor and runs. So now we're just going to stick it back on there. And then we should be running. So yeah, I am very happy to own this locomotive. Also, if you hear kitchen noises in the background, that is coming from the upper level of our house. Making Christmas cookies. Anyway, this was supposed to be a review. Still haven't reviewed it yet. Been talking for 20 minutes. But it's doing it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up. Well, that's not good. My tender wire came apart again. And that's to the reverse light. Anyway, let's get to the review. So, on the front of the locomotive, we have separately applied grab irons, guard, extremely huge cylinders, marker lights that are not operational because I put those on there, number plate, moving down the side, I'm not even going to review that, you all can see it, very nice detail for an older River Rossi locomotive, articulates just like a real one would, it's the top, no smoke unit since it is an older engine again. But it does have something interesting, which is a operating bell. Can't do it really good. Real Y6Bs had orange or red, whichever ones those are. Windows, cab windows, roof vents that do not open. Again, an older River Rossi locomotive. An okay looking coal load with a piece of hair in it. North Chris Bellers, North Florida Western. Nice trucks. Brakeman cab. Water caps. And on the back, this is what broke off the wire to that little light. Which real Y6Bs did have those lights. And a separately applied ladder with a knuckle coupler. So. Hope you enjoyed this review that, let me take that wire off, this is bugging me. It broke off again, okay. I have to figure something out for the reverse light. Anyway, we're just gonna, we're just gonna tuck that back in there, pretend nothing ever happened. And run it a little bit. This is a fairly strong locomotive for River Aussie. And in case you're wondering, I believe this is a red box engine. At least it originally was a red box engine. Doesn't have the box anymore. Box probably got thrown away when they were tearing down the building to turn it into a restaurant. Still, I don't really want that to happen. But it does run. Show you full throttle in a minute. Man, we're getting nine minutes on this video. Oh, ten minutes. Anyway, 
it's 10 minutes now, so this is going to be a fairly long video for my channel. Anyway, like, subscribe, see you next video, bye.